Hey guys, it's Libby. I have moved the uh, braid over to the side of the head for now. We'll see how long it stays there. But I'm continuing in my reviews of my sort of trio of emotional speculative fiction, that's how I'm thinking of it, uh, with Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. So this is a graphic novel. It's very high quality. Um, the cover feels nice. The pages are all in color and uh, it's a hardcover, so that's always good. So this is a book about Nimona, who is a, they call her a girl or a child a lot. She feels more sort of like she's 20 to me, but whatever. Um, and she is a shapeshifter and she decides to become the uh, sidekick of the big super villain of this universe, Lord Ballister Blackheart. And she thinks that he is not trying hard enough to defeat his arch rival, the superhero, Sir Ambrosius Goldenloin, so she wants to bring her ideas to the table to help spread villainy throughout the land. And she and Lord Ballister really clash. She's arguably the more successful supervillain because she can like change into all sorts of animal shapes uh, and also into other people. Uh, whereas he is mainly doing his work through like science and he's got like rules about not killing people and she's like, um, we're villains. We can kill some people. And it is very, very fun and emotional. I did not expect to feel all of the feels that I felt from this. I picked it up immediately after finishing the fire sermon when I was still kind of, uh, I, I, I had a book hangover and I probably shouldn't have started a new one, but I did. I thought it would be light and fluffy. It was not. It was intense and I read it in one sitting. So it, it was it was a rough Sunday morning. It was a really intense Sunday morning for me. But let's talk about the book now that I'm not holding it and can flap my arms around as much as I want. So this book is set in a really interesting world. There's a lot of medieval elements to it in like what the people are wearing and um, the, the knights are jousters. So the reason, mm, excuse me. So the reason that Lord Blackheart is the villain is because he lost a uh, jousting match to Sir Ambrosius back in a flashback. And may I just say, those two, very shippable. But they also have like television and computers and hospitals, so it's just whatever Noelle wanted it to be. And I think it works really well, even though it seems like it might be all clashy. And Nimona herself is a really atypical heroine. She's got some hips going on, uh, and she has a funky hairdo. She's dyed her hair pink, and that's not... I can't point that backwards. Okay, that's not a hat she's wearing. She's just like shaved most of her head. So she's not like conventionally attractive, but she does kick ass and you will love her. There aren't a lot of actual jokes, but there's a lot of situational humor and you just sort of get caught up in Nimona's exuberance for, for villainy and evil. And you might be like, Libby, why do you like this evil character so much? And it's because she really doesn't come across as evil for a lot of the book. A lot of times it just seems like she really believes in Lord Blackheart and wants him to succeed because he was treated unfairly by Sir Golden Loin and the institution which kind of runs the government. And she can never really go too far because Lord Ballister is always there with his rules. So this was originally published as a webcomic, and I'll give you a link to that in the description. Um, right now you can only read the first three chapters online because they like want you to go out and buy the book. Fair enough. So I was a little bit worried that it would just be episodic, but while there are like, you know, building conflict resolution, conflict resolution situations, it's definitely going towards a climax. And the end gets really intense and I can't, I don't want to spoil it, and I don't even think I can talk about it. it. It took a lot out of me emotionally. I had to feel a lot of feelings, and I loved everybody, and oh, this book, guys. Please read it. You will understand. 
It took me less than two hours to read it. I did it in one sitting, so you have no excuses. I don't care how busy your life is. You have time for this book. So a little bit of a shorter review, but hopefully I have convinced you to read this. It is amazing. Five out of five stars. I will see you later.